Huge disclaimer on this entire video. These are supplementations to the diet that you are already eating, so please do not choose to just take supplements over um, proper nutrition, um, proper mental health. Don't just take these vitamins if you are trying to um, feel better about yourself or anything like that. So. So today I'm gonna actually take you through my morning cocktail. I know I talk to you guys about this all the time And so I just kind of want to go through what I put in it and then the vitamins that I take with it And I guess the vitamins that I take kind of throughout the day if you are new here I am actually gonna be posting this video within my Facebook group as well as in my YouTube channel So whatever platform you are on welcome. My name is Carly I appreciate you guys being here and this is not gonna be all the supplements that I take It's just totally like my morning routine morning cocktail thing. So with that said, links to everything will be down below, and I hopefully will answer your guys' questions, but this is definitely a drink. It's the very first thing that I have every single morning. I always post it as my morning cocktail, and I get a ton of questions about it, so I just kind of want to go over it. So first and foremost, go ahead and grab a shaker bottle. I definitely recommend a shaker bottle shaker bottle because a lot of people ask me about how like the greens dissolve and all of that. So yeah, get one of those. Um... I do not drink Shakeology, but somehow we ended up with a Shakeology cup, so you guys will be able to see inside of it. So first and foremost, I'm just going to kind of go through everything of what I take. So shaker bottle, I have my cupboards and cabinets kind of everywhere, so I apologize for that. I didn't take things out in advance. So um, glutamine, I add glutamine. I probably take a scoop of this twice a day, once in the morning, once at night. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sometimes I throw it into my pre-workout. Um, there are tons of reasons for a lot of these supplements. I'm going to tell you why I take them personally. Feel free. This one I get from bodybuilding.com. They do an incredible job, um, explaining on their website, like the exact reasons for all of it. I personally take glutamine for, um, a lot of gut health. That's why I put it into my, um, morning drink, but it's great for digest di digestive health. It's also good for your overall joints, protein synthesis, all of that. But I personally take it mostly for um, gut health. And then as I'm going through, I'm just going to kind of, like I said, take you through my vitamins. Um, glucosamine, I take every single day. I get mine from bodybuilding.com. It's great for um, joint health, cartilage health, everything. Um, I take these from bodybuilding.com. I believe you can also get them at Costco, but you get a discount if you go to bodybuilding.com. So you can actually now, finally, they just told us, I think two days ago, you can use um, Ambassador and they'll give you 10% off. So my link for that is down below. I take three of these. Um, again, I lift a lot and so this to me is very important and crucial for, um, uh, yeah, just kind of sustaining all of your joint health and everything. I am out of a few things, so I will just put, I'll tell you in the video what else I take, but, um, I'll make sure to put it down below. Um, next, green tea. You guys know that I try my best not to um, take caffeine. When I do, I try like half a scoop of my class nutrition pre-workout or I will do um, bodybuilding.com um, aminos, like their actual amino energy. But green tea is definitely something I recommend. I take it in the morning um, just to kind of give me that little kick in the butt because like I said, I don't um, drink coffee. And I can see my rat tail falling, oh my God. Sorry guys, hot mess express coming in, getting the full morning, morning effect. Okay, so those things I take in the morning. Fish oils, I also take three of these a day, bodybuilding.com. Um, it's just easier for me. A lot of times I get this stuff at Costco also, but um, obviously with a discount code, it helps a lot to purchase from bodybuilding. You guys, I do pay for all of this out of my own money, so I'm not just taking it because they send it to me. I genuinely purchase all of this. So I promise I'll tell you like, this is all stuff I actually take. Um, but yes, I take fish oils, heart, health, joint, skin, hair, um, just everything. You want to look at the EPA and DHA. So don't just go to Costco and buy like whatever. They definitely have different brands, different uh, potencies. So look at that. Um, these ones do not have that fishy like burp taste. So highly recommend them. Um, those ones I typically will take in the evening. Um, when I am in prep, I will take it with my pre-workout meal. Um, I think it's just because I, I don't really know why my coach had me do that. 
that one thing I did learn is that your body actually digests your vitamins better when you're eating it with a fattier meal. And so I typically, my morning, my breakfast is always a higher fat meal. So that's why I take a lot of my vitamins with my green drink because then I'll eat my breakfast after. And then I take, um, I don't know if you heard this Malibu. Um, I'll show you at the end, like these are my two little cups. So, so far we have my glutamine and my green tea in here and then fish oils here. I'll take fish oils in the evening. Um, ZMAs, zinc, magnesium, and these actually have B6 in them. I take three of these. That's the allotted like dosage. This is, yeah, zinc, magnesium, and B6. I take these in the evening. Um, multiple reasons. Again, go ahead and go to the website if you want to see everything, but I take zinc for my skin. It also helps with protein synthesis. Magnesium, I help because it helps with like relaxation, anxiety, um, all of that. It also helps with protein synthesis. And then B6 actually helps our body like digest uh, the zinc and the magnesium. So that is why I take this. I definitely struggle with um, stress and anxiety. I just can't get my mind to shut off. Um, as you guys know, I also take CBD oil. Um, I think you guys know, but um, I do my CBD oil from Cured Nutrition. Um, but this I just take in the evening because I definitely have noticed that it relaxes me, which is wonderful. Some people can take drops in the morning, but I just um, feel like I get too relaxed, so I take a few drops in the evening. I put it under my tongue. So, um, yeah, the zinc and magnesium also helps just kind of relax things. I also found that I found out that if you are deficient in magnesium, sometimes you crave chocolate. That's oftentimes like a, um, a sign, I guess. But a lot of people are deficient in magnesium. So I definitely, out of all these so far, I highly, highly, highly recommend getting a ZMA. The other ones, in my opinion, like the glucosamine and the glutamine um, are great for joint health. None of this is act like is required or anything. I'm going to show you guys what I take. Um, vitamin D3, hashtag I live in Seattle. So I take one of these every single morning. Um, going into the morning cup. Vitamin D3, a lot of people are deficient in vitamin D. This is another one I would highly recommend. So, so far, I highly recommend zinc and magnesium um, and vitamin D3. Crucial, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I do it more from like the... Um, Lack of sun, it helps with your heart health, your joint health, all of that. Basically, I'm trying not to get older, if you guys are realizing, in terms of um, all my joint. Uh, and the next one, anti-inflammatory. So, uh, this one I get at Costco, D3. I also get my uh, turmeric, or turmeric, or however you say it. I get this from Costco as well. I take two of these every single day. Um, I know I'm talking about my morning cocktail, but this all goes along with it, so I swear. I'll show you everything. So I take two of those, anti-inflammatory. You can also get the powder. A lot of people who love curry, um, they just have it in their diet more often. L-carnitine, also bodybuilding.com. Another, um, for me, I take it for um, joint support and muscle recovery, but it also helps with converting your fat into energy. So this is something that I definitely take during a cut. Um, I... We typically cycle off of this like every few months or so just so that your body um, can like get used to it or not get used to it. But um, I don't cycle off of it. I've just been told to cycle off of stuff. Sometimes I'll go through like two or three periods where I just kind of go off of everything. But I typically take this every single day. L-carnitine. Um, that is actually one other thing that I am out of because I do cycle on and off of it. But those are CLAs. So CLAs can also help convert fat to energy. And what it does is people think, it always says like fat burner on it, but what it does is it helps shrink your fat cells. And so I take that at like during a cut, usually the last eight weeks of a cut, I will be taking it every single day. I would say it's the last supplement to be using if you're like, um, like on a budget or anything. Uh, but again, I just did finish a prep that I didn't actually do. If you guys watched my last video where I didn't compete. So I am cycling off of CLAs right now. Um, I'm not uh, worried about converting fat energy to, or fat to energy or any of that. So cycling off of it now. Next one I take is vitamin B12. Again, I take this for energy. A lot of females and males are uh, deficient in vitamin B12. Costco. A big bottle. Highly recommend this. Um, I would say definitely B12, vitamin D, your zinc, and um, those are definitely like some that I would recommend. Vitamin C. So I take two of these in the morning. 
And I also take um, two in the evening, but that's because it's post-workout. One thing I did not know, my coach told me, oh, I get these at the Costco. Um, my coach told me about this is vitamin C actually helps lower our cortisol levels. And so when we're working out, we're um, obviously inducing a lot of stress onto our body. And so by taking vitamin C after we work out, it can help bring those cortisol levels back down. Um, I do get the 1,000 milligram um, but yes, that's something I didn't know that either that when like you're sick and your doctors tell you to take vitamin C It's oftentimes just to help bring your body back to a relaxed state not necessarily like magnesium I feel like calms me more vitamin C just helps bring those cortisol levels within the body down. So um, That's why I take it. I haven't done a ton of ton of research on it, but I really trust my coach so um, Yeah, I I've done research, a ton of research on cortisol. Vitamin C is always something that they recommend, but um, I've noticed a huge difference. I, and again, I've been doing this for about two or three years in terms of all of these, so I have cycled on and off a lot of these. Um, and yeah, so I'm just gonna finish my vitamins. Sorry, I'll go on to the rest. L-theanine, I get these on Amazon. If you suffer from stress and anxiety, everything that I tell you about because I have a few other things in here, I have noticed the biggest difference when I don't take this. This I've actually cycled off of like months at a time, and I noticed a really big difference. L-theanine. It is an amino acid. You can actually find it in like your BCAs and all of that, but I take it um, independently. I take one in the morning, one at night. I feel like it just kind of like, who's that ass? You know, relaxation. 5-HTP. This is an actual really high dosage. This one... Um, I think is like 200 milligrams or something like that. But anyways, I take this in the evening. So this goes with my evening one. Um, again, just helping me kind of chill out in the evenings. Um, it's kind of sounding like I have like all these anxiety and whatever. I just like that feeling of being really chill. Um, ashwanda, ashwangana, however you say it. Um, this one. So these three, the 5-HTP, the L-theanine, and the ashwanda. I started taking the end of my last prep. As you guys know, if you watched my last video, I really started suffering from um, stress and anxiety and just kind of like putting a ton of pressure onto myself. And I um, really like to heal myself naturally uh, in terms of like I tried to do yoga and breathing exercises and being more in the moment, but I have noticed a really big difference with all of these. And they are just mostly of just herbs, but... Um, yeah, I don't find anything wrong with taking stuff like this. I know it looks like I'm taking a pharmacy, but yes, I take three of these. I do take these in the morning. I don't take the 5-HTP in the morning, so I only take this at night. So I take one of these morning and night. The dosage on these is three, so I take three of these in the morning, and then I take two of these in the evening. Now, actually, onto the morning cocktail. So, so far, we have the one scoop of glutamine, which helps with gut health. A lot of other reasons I take it for gut health. And then... I swear, this stuff has been my magic. So I use Biome. If you are in my Facebook group, I do have a PDF file in there of why I'm using Biome. So you can go and check all of that out. But uh, one thing that I think everybody can kind of understand and relate to is um, there are absolutely no added sweeteners or artificial sweeteners in here. It is sweetened with monk fruit. It is gluten-free. I am completely gluten-free. With my endometriosis, I have to be extremely careful with my gut health. Um, my endometriosis affects my gut health. It affects more than you can imagine. So probiotics, prebiotics are a godsend to me, and I have tried everything under the sun um, to help with regularity, sorry if that's TMI, but also with bloating and discomfort from my endometriosis. Um, my endo causes a lot of just discomfort and pain um, and really interrupts like how my system digests food. So um, I haven't yet to find a greens powder that I can take because of the gluten aspect in it and this I can say happily is gluten free. So I take one scoop of this with the glutamine in there and then I am out of I should be actually getting it today. I'm out of my prebiotics. I have another probiotic. So I take their probiotics. I take one of these every single day. And can you see it? I don't know if it's focusing or not. But I take one probiotic and then I take two of their prebiotics. But I just ran out last night. So um, their prebiotic is purple. And then I also do their colon cleanse every like six to eight weeks. 
Um, I have my other probiotics in here. Same thing, but new. Um, I take their uh, probiotics every single day, prebiotics, two pills every single day, and then um, their colon cleanse I do every six to eight weeks, and I actually just did their gut health report, which I'm really excited to get that back. So, right now in my morning talk cocktail, I, one sec, gotta grab my apple cider vinegar. Okay, apple cider vinegar. So, we have one scoop of glutamine, one scoop of... Um, biome super greens. I do 30 milliliters, so that is two tablespoons. So just measure that out. And then the taste. I do the lemon ice BCAs from Class Nutrition. You guys, you, you guys, you need to get BCAs in there. Or you can use like a Mio or something. But everybody asks, like, how the hell do you choke down your apple cider vinegar? It's because I use BCAs. So even if you don't have a greens powder or anything, um, apple cider vinegar helps with um, a ton of things. Blood sugar levels, your digestion. I personally take it for my digestion. Um, but I have to put BCAs in there. I usually do half a scoop just for flavor. So I have another one in here I need to finish. Um, so I definitely recommend BCAs. Um, the lemon ice is super mild in my opinion. I love that about it. Um, I also, I mean, um, anything from Class Nutrition, you can actually get 20% off if you use my name. Um, anything from bodybuilding.com, you can get, I think, 10% off by using Ambassador. I do use bodybuilding.com's BCA sometimes if I'm looking for like a really sweet flavor, um, if I'm trying to curb that, um, that sweet tooth kind of a thing. Otherwise, I really, really love the um, like smoothness, the simple whatever of the um, class nutrition. So anyways, as you can see in here, I've got it all. I add the 20 to 24 ounces of water, shake it up. Um, I definitely, if you have it, I recommend putting like one of those little, these guys. These guys in there, it'll help break apart all of the greens. So what I do is typically I would put everything in here that you saw, like the glutamine powder, the greens, the apple cider vinegar, the BCAs. I'd put this in here, add the water, shake it up, put it into the fridge just for like 10 minutes, let it all break up while I'm like loading up all my vitamins, my pharmacy over here. Um, but yes, sorry this video is a little bit longer. I didn't want it to be super long, but I also wanted to talk about the vitamins that I take because I get asked that all the time. Um, but yes, yeah, so out of everything, I highly, highly recommend, um, zinc, so ZMAs, B12, D3, your fish oils, probiotics and prebiotics, and your greens powder. Honestly, those have been life-changing for me. Feel free to ask me any questions that you have on any, on all of this. Um, in addition to all of this, I do take Pure Focus, which I'm out of right now, which is from Class Nutrition. That is kind of my, like, mental clarity, like, my day just, I feel like cannot really function without it. Um, but I'm supposed to be getting a package today. So, um, I wanted to get this video out to you guys. If you are watching this on YouTube, um, awesome. If you're in the Facebook group, I want to get you guys this out before our challenge starts on Monday because I want you to have time to order this stuff or ask me your questions so you can have all the stuff ready to go. Um, other supplements that I take, I said Pure Focus, I do take whey protein. Um, and I take creatine and um, pre-workout. So I think those are the, like the other things that I take that I didn't show on this video, uh, but I do plan on doing a full day of eating this week, and so when I do that, I'm not gonna show you all of this. This is my morning routine, my morning cocktail. So as always, thank you guys so, so much for being here. If you are on YouTube, remember to like and subscribe. You can go ahead and check out my last video if you kinda wanna see where I've been, why I've been off of YouTube, what happened in my prep and life. If you're here on Facebook group, ask me any questions that you have. Um, I do have a couple Facebook groups going, so if you're just in my big, amazing community, thank you for being here. Um, let me know how I can help you in any way. If this is in our challenge group, let's go. Ask me your questions. Um, if you have any more about this and what I think that you should maybe order prior to... Um, Monday starting. Huge disclaimer on this entire video. These are supplementations to the diet that you are already eating, so please do not choose to just take supplements over um, proper nutrition, um, proper mental health. Don't just take these vitamins if you are trying to um, feel better about yourself or anything like that. So 
Love you all. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you in the next one.